Good afternoon and welcome to the Idahoan Show. Uh, today I'm doing a second test of my Shooting Star shotgun slugs. Uh, if you recall, the first test they failed miserably and I identified a number of improvements that I thought would need to be made in order to get them to perform correctly. Now, incorporating all of those improvements would have required making an entirely new mold to cast these uh, slugs. I thought before I go ahead and do that, what I would do is just take the existing mold and bore out a conical depression in the base of the cavity so that the base of the bullet has more surface area. Hopefully that'll mitigate our wadding failure. Uh, and then I also cast these uh, for the second test out of a much harder lead alloy. So. I'm not necessarily expecting stellar performance out of these, but uh, I'm hoping it'll be a significant improvement over what we saw before. If it is, then it's probably justifiable to go to the trouble of making a new mold and refining the design further. If these fail miserably, that's probably my cue to scrap the uh, Shooting Star Shotgun Slug project. So anyway, let's throw a few of these down range and see what happens. Okay, so I just shot these through the smooth bore and we're getting, I don't know, maybe a seven or eight inch group. Uh, it's hard to tell if they're stabilizing or not. I mean, that looks like a pretty round hole. That one, it looks to me like the bullet might have been yawed a little bit to the side. There's kind of a rounded imprint on this side and uh, sort of an oblong shape there. That one, I'm not really sure. Uh, but, you know, the grouping really isn't any worse than what we've seen from some factory slugs, like, say, the Copper Matrix bullets. Uh, so, why don't we see if I can hit a milk jug with one of these? Here's one that I was able to recover. Uh, we do still see some uh, deformation probably that happened in the barrel on the uh, front stabilizers. And it kind of looks like it was flying sideways when it hit the dirt, although it probably would have hit the dirt kind of at an angle anyway, so I'm not sure how much to read into that. So recoil seemed pretty normal. Uh, the slugs in this case didn't have any trouble penetrating our you know, target board or the milk jug that we fired it at. Uh, you know, if you recall last time, we were getting slugs actually lodging themselves in that plywood board. I'm using the same board in this test. Um, so I think that that conical base did in fact solve the problems that we were having with catastrophic wadding failure. Uh, and overall, these slugs performed much better in the second test. So I think the thing for me to do now is to go off and make a better mold. Uh, and at some point, hopefully, I'll have a third iteration of the Shooting Star Slug to test for you here. But until then, thank you for watching the Idahoan Show.